I saw this trailer for this book John MacArthur put out called Slave. And in this book, you're, he just uses all kinds of Hollywood type mind mind control tactics, you know, like the sound effects and the you know fast beating music and stuff. It's just mind control. And you're going to see how he basically says that there is a conspiracy to cover up the New Testament and that you can only find the truth by reading his book. You know, it's crazy. And then he says, you know, how you're bought and paid with a price. And, you know, you know, and, and it's like, you know, as if you couldn't understand that from the King James. But he's not King James only. He uses modern versions. So, which explains why he's into all the wicked heresy that he's into, Lordship Salvation, whole other story, but let's play this and just watch the mind control, the just sound effects and fast beating, you know, mind control. Exploring the New Testament, I uncovered a distortion of truth when it came to the word doulos. Doulos means slave. When I began to unfold the 150 times that word is used, I realized that my understanding of the New Testament had exploded in a whole new way. The book Slave is about the hidden word that unlocks the believer's identity. Virtually so notice how it says the hidden word. If you know anything about Freemasonry, it's a Masonic term, you know, the hidden language, the hidden word. He's a mason, and and you know, he uh, mentions how he you know was in one of the sermons I think he mentioned how he you know grew up hearing the word of God from his grandfather and father who were both Freemasons. Interesting, the hidden word. It's Masonic. It's satanic. All English translations ignore the fact that doulos only means slave and translated servant. There had been a conspiracy to cover up a truth that is so essential to the New Testament. So there was a conspiracy to cover it up, and only John MacArthur was revealed, you know, the truth was only revealed to John MacArthur. Sure. I mean, not lifting yourself up. I mean, he's sure not lifting himself up to a high, a high pedestal, is he? You know, you know, a conspiracy. Right. That without it, we misunderstand our relationship to Jesus Christ. The servant does a job. The slave is owned. When you understand the concept of the Christian as a slave, then you understand what it means to be bought out of the slave market of sin. Wait, I want to go back to that. Notice how he has this image of Jesus Christ. Um, Acts 17, verse 29. Because what does the Bible say about having images of Jesus Christ? Acts 17, verse 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by art and man's device. You're not to make graven images of the Godhead. Jesus is part of the Godhead. He's the Son of God. You're not supposed to make graven images of him. Why do you have this picture of Jesus Christ right there? This long-haired, you know, sissy that they call Jesus. Weird. Be bought out of the slave market of sin. The last thing I want to point out on this you know, part of this video is he says, you know, you understand your body of the slave market of sin. What, and you can't get that from the King James? The King James makes it pretty clear. You know, you're bought with a price. You know, you're a purchased possession. Ephesians 1 verse, uh, wait, 1 verse 14. Who the, uh, Ephesians 1, 1, 1 verse 14, sorry. Who is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. We're a purchased possession when we're saved. I mean, the King James makes it very clear, but oh no. If you, you can't understand that until you get John MacArthur's book. Sure. As believers, we are slaves who become friends, friends who become sons, sons who become joint heirs. Just changes everything that I perceive about the Christian life. Notice like the Hollywood, you know, suspenseful music, you know, sound effects. It's just, all it is is just, you know, mind control. It goes back to voodoo. I mean, voodoo, you know, like voodoo and witchcraft, they just get this fast drum beat, you know, they, they conjure up gods and spirits and stuff. It's it just, it's Hollywood type voodoo mind control. Jesus is Lord, and I am his slave. Wow, I mean, that was just, I mean, if you're not convinced this guy is a false prophet, I mean, he's just saying, you know, there's a conspiracy to cover up the New Testament, and you can only learn that truth 
with by reading my book. He's a false prophet, proven. So again, I'm going to come up with some more stuff against his lying false prophet, John MacArthur. But don't be deceived by this guy. He's um, he's a minister of Satan. He, you know, and using Masonic, Masonic terminology, Freemasonry term, terminology, you know, the hidden word. He's a Mason. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.